Men of Reddit, what's something you see as romantic you wish ladies would do more often? I'm already melting if she gives me a good hug or compliment tbh. It's really sad how so many men are deprived of affection in relationships. True, everyone needs to be held like a precious wrapped burrito time to time. Just little random bits of affection. Kisses, thumb taps etc for no reason. A buddy of mine married my cousin and he said he wished she would be more affectionate. He listed these as well as wanting to be little spoons sometimes. All the time I sat today there thinking about how I took those things for granted from my GF. She will randomly text me and tell me she loves me. She is always hugging me and squeezes my ass randomly and says things like, Damn! Have you been squatting? Hugging from behind. Just hug me from behind and whisper in my ear. In the first age, in the first battle, when the shadows first lengthened, one stood. He chose the path of perpetual torment. In his ravenous hatred he found no peace, and with boiling blood he scoured the umbral plains, seeking vengeance against the dark lords who wronged him as year. And those who tasted the bite of his sword named him, the Doomslayer. Edit, didn't expect this much love from my shitty joke, especially my first, silver. Heavy metal intensified, literally just a good old hug every now and then, little surprises are really nice too. Going on walks with me talking about the future or about passions. Even showing trust to us about issues so we can open up over hours, hugging, cuddling, the girl too. Have the initiative complimenting us guys, little positive surprises. The initiative is a big one Imo. Literally anything requiring thought, effort that wasn't expected of her. Bonus points if it was something on my to-do list there isn't much that feels better than psyching yourself up to do something that you don't really want to do to find out that not only did you have to do it, but someone cares about you and loves you enough to think that making you happy was worth taking on the task themselves. This is so true. If I had to choose between flowers and coming home to a clean kitchen with dinner in the oven, I chose the clean kitchen and a dinner I didn't make any day. Honestly I just want the quiet safe moments where she lets me rest my head on her chest and listen to her heartbeat. Don't worry about grand gestures. Let me know where I can be safe. Create and protect a small space where it is just the two of us. He'd motorboat me within 10 seconds. Those 10 seconds before the motorboating are appreciated. Tell us we look pretty. Siri, a man can go his whole life without hearing a goddamn compliment. Eat guy, I didn't mean literally call them pretty. Goddamn, but if you think the guy will take it as a compliment then why the hell not? Also, if getting called anything but hot or cute offends you, you're a fragile man and your ego is showing. A compliment is a compliment, just take I've always liked saying a guy is beautiful or pretty. They're usually should cause they're only used to, cute, or, hot. Handsome, at most. But I feel those words can apply to anyone. Damn it, if you see a beautiful man, let him know, he's beautiful. I grow my own roses. I will give them to my friends. And whenever a guy is looking particularly nice I do say so but people in my city seem to be always looking for hookups so it gets a bit disparaging. But I will remember this if I want to brighten someone's day. Interest in personal interests even if it's just letting us guys talk about it and letting it out. Men want to be heard too. Anytime I start getting excited about something like a game or a new mechanic I apologize. Immediately if someone else is around or in BC with me. I always feel bad sharing what I like because issues. Oh man, you shouldn't feel like that. You know, it's actually pretty awesome if someone talks passionately about something. So just go ahead and find the right people who I enjoy your stories because they make you happy or because they're into the same stuff. The replies here make me so sad. Every day, every single day, I kiss my man. I hug him and pet his hair and tell him he looks good, smells yummy. I reach over and squeeze his hand. 
his shoulder, his butt, anything that is available or appropriate to squeeze. I give him back rubs and spoon him at night. I let him know how lucky I am that he chooses me. I don't expect extra girlfriend points for this. This should be the baseline in a loving partnership. Who the heck isn't complimenting and cuddling their men? Do better, everyone. I'm wondering the same thing. How do you have feelings for someone and not have a need to be affectionate? I'd go crazy if I couldn't cuddle my husband and tell him how sexy he is. Initiate cuddling and hug ME from behind once in a while. Kiss ME by surprise for a change. I'm a very affectionate guy and I really appreciate when a woman is proactive when it comes to shows of affection. My ex-girlfriend and I had been together for about three months, and it was time to get Christmas gifts. It was my first real relationship I'd had during Christmas time. I didn't know what to get her. After a week I told her I was stumped. She said it didn't have to be bit, just some. A week later I was still not sure and a little panicky, a little panicky. So she told me to peek at what she got me under the tree after she left. It was a six-pack of hand-picked microbrew singles. Thoughtful and 100% me. So I bought her a bunch of shit to make margaritas with. We had a very boozy Christmas after getting back from visiting our respective families. So, small gifts that show you know them and care. Beer, a new video game, new computer accessories, a new t-shirt, a new tie if they're having to dress up a lot, new comfy socks, a new baseball hat. That was super cool to me. And GT. A new video game. New computer accessories. I'm gonna have to majorly disagree with you on this one. Most guys, at least myself and the ones I know, would prefer not getting gifts of things they are already researching and looking into which is often tech, gadgets and games. I want to buy every little thing. Whether it is a special keycap for my keyboard or a new GPU for myself. It kinda sucks to get something that you wanted but not the exact thing if you know what I mean. I have a long hair for about two years now. I like it when they play with my hair. Just one when they don't mind taking the lead a little bit in bed. I'm not talking like weird kinky stuff I just mean for guys like me who haven't had a lot of sexual experience and I'm still not really comfortable with being physical yet it's really nice when a girl is actually willing to help you through it and learn how to get to her off. I have yet to meet one of these girls but I'm told they're out there. We're up you just haven't found a good one yet. Hope it happens soon. A man can go his whole life without hearing a compliment. Even just something small like commenting on my shirt or something like that. But we never get told that we're pretty. Seriously. My current GF always calls me handsome and before she started saying it I honestly never considered that I could be. So please call us pretty. But also small physical touches can go a long way. A hand on our chest as we cuddle or the occasional butt squeeze. And please sometimes just give us a hug. A big hug can be just what we need to say. Yeah, it's hard, but I can do this. It can give us the strength to feel like a man again. About the only compliment regarding looks I ever get is that I have nice eyebrows. It's nice to hear, but I've sort of gotten tired of it. I'd love to hear something else for a change. You have T-H-I-C-C -C loins. Honestly, maybe I've been getting into the wrong relationships, but I feel like relationships tend to be one-sided a lot of the time in terms of compliments and making the other feel better. A compliment can go a long way for a guy cause even in relationships we rarely receive them, but always have to give them and have to constantly reassure the other person. It gets sort of exhausting. Yeah, boy would actually like some flowers. I got you fam hibiscus. So hold women. If you like a guy, ask him out. Don't drop signs and subtle hints and then complain. Well, why didn't he ask me out? Just ask him straight up. Before the boyfriend and I were an item, I asked him to accompany me to a gentleman's club for a co-worker's 21st birthday. 
All my guy friends told me since I asked him out and because it was at a strip club that it wouldn't last or he'd feel emasculated. Three years later and still going strong. Fuck gender roles. I've never had a woman ask me out. I've had him interested in me. Yes. But never a woman actually saying, hey, do you want to go on a date? It's always me. So, I resigned myself to this. I'll be polite and courteous. But I'll wait for the woman that takes initiative and shows me she likes me rather than me having to read into subtle bullshit. How many other single girls always read these threads and make note? Haha, ha, I know I'll most likely stay single all my life, but these tips are noted. In fact, I always compliment my male friends, I hope, even though it's coming from a girl they don't find attractive. It brightens their day. I'm a married woman reading this to make sure I'm not missing anything for my husband. Smiley face. Don't put yourself there. I thought I was unattractive for years because I got bullied badly for being ugly as a kid. But my appearance didn't stop my husband from falling head over heels for me. Keep up the compliments. Let your light shine. And don't worry so much what others think of how you look or act. Just be your awesome self, and if you see a guy you like, ask him out. Apparently a lot of guys are wishing girls would take more initiative, after all, lol.